Marvell Semiconductor is a fabulous design firm that focuses on designing microchips. We focus in a few specific areas, including automotive, storage, and data centers. Our team is under the storage BU, um, mainly focused on collecting data on SSD drive level to uh, based on the study to provide or recommend best solutions for for my team. Um, I roll at Marvell. I interface with internal customers, which are the business units, uh, and external customers, which be a lot of names that most people would recognize that Marvell does solutions for. When I was in uh, ECE department, I spent four years working in the projects, hands-on, a lot of hands-on experiments in the clean room. Um, it's a long-term training and it really, really benefits myself because it trains the way how you think about things, how you plan for things, and how to really achieve the final goal, step by step. Starting from the beginning, the very solid, profound training, knowledge and the training and all the projects I worked on back in NC State in the WE department actually helped me to land the first job. Yeah, my role is uh, working on the RGL design and like, basically hardware design of uh, transceivers. Uh, it's really challenging, it's really interesting and I'm really liking the job. Uh, I'm also happy that I get to apply a lot of things that I just now like recently learned in NC State in many of the courses that I've taken. So I am a manager of a software engineering group at the switching business unit at Marvel Semiconductor. Uh, I essentially have direct reports who uh, work with me. We majorly work on uh, data center switches. Our team is majorly focused on developing the software development kit for the data center ASIC, which is created by the particular BU. Our role includes implementing features which are required in data center, uh, making sure that they are of uh, essential quality, which can be run into the data center. So the most important thing for me uh, uh, from the EC department was that I was able to reach out and ask for help. There were people always there to like, reach out and say that they're there for you and you can reach out for help and that probably made things a little bit more easier for me even with my career as well because when I need something I can go ask somebody for it so that is a major understanding that I gain from there so it's okay to ask for help so yeah. For current ECE student, if you are pursuing for your pursuing for your bachelor degree or master degree, um, go with your passion. It's always okay to change your gear later on because you guys are so young. So think about what you really want to achieve, not only for the long-term life goal, but also for every experiment. Think first before you execute. Best professional advice I could suggest to current ECE students is to find something you really like and do that, even if other people are telling you to do something different. Whether it's your professor, your parents, your the industry. Uh, I'll say as a lifetime hardware engineer, there's always a shortage of hardware engineers, but most of the common marketing today uh, will tell you you should be a software engineer going to computer science, which is fine if that's what you like. It's fine what you love and do that. And my feeling is more people would choose hardware engineering if they thought about that. I think one of the most important professional advices I would have is having a very important course selection. I think the number of courses we need to do as part of the EC program, if you have to select, if, I know there are uh, students opt for balance in order to get a good GPA, but if they follow industry trends and try to do courses which are aligned towards what the current industry trends are, that particularly helps them when they graduate from the EC program. And also along with the uh, uh, NC State being particularly very close to the Research Triangle Park and RTP, uh, you should be following the companies which belong to RTP and follow the industry trends what those companies are following. So if you make sure that at least you do the courses which are aligned to what they are being doing, it, it becomes easy for you uh, with your jobs, internships, co-ops, or whatnot, right? Whatever NCSU offers. Um, something that from NC State that probably does still stick with me today is uh, I mentioned my love of hardware. So that's where I first found it. I got to do it in some of my classes. I met a few people that had done some growing up. Ham radio is another. But it's where it really introduced me to the career that I've had and that I love and I was lucky enough to find. Um, but a lot of it's just... Um, 
those experiences led me to where I am today. I think for current NC State students, yeah, just enjoy the journey and then graduate with flying colors. And for future, you know, students, just enjoy the Howling Cow ice cream when you're there. Go back.